On this beautiful evening, I had my first chance to really film the foraging behavior of a pair of spoonbill sandpipers in this shallow wetland. This is a little call the male uses as a contact call when he's foraging with a female, and oftentimes she'll respond. Here's the female, and this is during a period when the female is laying eggs, but the clutch is not yet complete, so they're not incubating yet. You can see her white undertail coverts there are really bulged out, and you can often tell when a female is laying eggs because she's really distended in that area. While she's foraging, she's also trying to conserve energy. One way she does this is by not flying, and they become very reluctant to fly. This female is actually swimming across open water at times to avoid flying. Here's the male again, and you can see he forages by walking around and visually spotting things on the surface or just under the surface and snatching them up. And this is how they usually forage on the breeding grounds, and it's very similar to the way most small sandpipers forage on the breeding grounds. So they're not really making any special use of that spoon bill. They're just picking up larval and adult invertebrates like midges and flies and uh, mosquitoes, and also some plant material like grass seeds that have collected on the surface. I did get this one piece of footage here where the bird is actually foraging in a way that's more commonly seen on the wintering grounds. You can see these rapid bursts of stitching movements, and it's probably feeding tactically here in sediments, not visually picking things off the surface. During this period, the male is still very territorial announcing his territory and guarding his mate. That call there is the spoonbill's most aggressive proclamation of territory, and it's the loudest call they give. He'll continue like this until the female is done laying eggs, and incubation begins, and then they'll really quiet down. <laughs> 